सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल आर यू एबल टू हियर माय वॉइस चिंता विनोद वैष्णवी विनायकी प्रसन्न हानि भावना निव्यरेड्डी गोपाल साई स्वाति सिंह ईश्वर सूर्य प्रकाश पवन वंशी कृष्ण यादव पवन चिंत विनोद कार्तिके वनिता नरेंद्र हरिकृष्ण सुमन्या रेड्डी हरिकृष्ण ओके आर यू एबल टू हियर माय वॉइस टुडे ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑडियबल thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so very good morning so in the last class actually we have completed uh, up to 10 problems besides uh, some part of the introduction of the straight uh, pair of straight lines we have discussed so one of the viewers asked secretariat sai madhav nagar akhilesh verma okay yadav uh, see uh, in the last session we have completed up to 10 problems today so we shall complete uh, the remaining problems uh, okay let us move to next problem now one minute prakash govind गोपालम, ओके, राइट So tenth problem we have completed, right? Okay, Bhumika. Pair of. straight lines pair of straight lines today is part 2 part 2 so problem number 11 so we shall discuss problem number 11 problem number 11 the difference the difference of the slopes slopes of the lines of the lines represented by represented by represented by y square minus 2xy secant square alpha secant square alpha Plus three plus tan square alpha plus three 
into tan square alpha minus 1 of x square is equal to 0 is first option first option 1 by 4 second option 4 third option 0 fourth option is 2 this is the question okay sanjharani cheti gopalam right saranya so now the difference of the slopes of the lines represented by y square minus 2xy secant square alpha plus 3 plus tan square alpha times tan square alpha minus 1 of x square is equal to 0. So that means we need to find out m1 minus m2 value. So here we can follow one technique. What the technique means? Options are independent of alpha. So that means put alpha is equal to 45 degrees or if you substitute alpha is equal to 0 also but you can substitute alpha is equal to 0 or even you can substitute alpha is equal to 45. If you put alpha is equal to 45 this tan square alpha minus 1 becomes 0 because tan 45 is 1 tan square alpha is 1 minus 1 0 so that directly we will get m1 minus m2 value. So now it becomes y square minus 2xy secant square alpha sec alpha sec 45 degrees is equal to root 2 root 2 square is 2 plus this will be 3 plus 1 this will be 1 minus 1 of x square equals to 0 so that means we get a here y square minus 4xy equals to how much we have 0. So that means now here comparing with the ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0, a is equal to 1 and h is equal to minus 2. There is no uh, here b value 1, b value 1, a value 0. There is no a value, x square coefficient. So now we need to find out uh, m1 minus m2. What is m1 minus m2? 2 root of h square minus ab upon mod b. So this is equal to 2 root of h square. h square is equal to how much? 4 minus ab is 0 by mod b. Mod b is 1. 2 root of root 4. 2 into 2. So that is equal to 4. So that means second option is the right option. Second option is the right option. See here once again. Here a value will be 0 because x square coefficient is absent. 2h is equal to minus 4, h is equal to minus 2. b value will be y square coefficient 1. Next twelfth question. Twelfth one. The equation the equation to the pair pair of lines. Passing through, passing through the point, passing through the point 
minus 2 comma 3 and parallel to and parallel to the pair of the lines pair of the lines pair of the lines x square plus 4xy plus y square equals to 0 is first option first option right first option x square minus 4xy plus y square minus 8x plus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. Second option x square plus 4xy plus y square minus 8x plus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. Third option third option is x square plus 4xy minus y square minus 8x plus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. Fourth option x square minus 4xy plus y square minus 8x minus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. So, this is the question. Okay, option 1 and 2 are same. No. Right. Let us find out now. The equation to the pair of lines passing through the point minus 2 comma 3 and parallel to the pair of lines x square plus 4xy plus y square is equal to 0. So, that means what is the hint means here? Put x for x minus x1, x plus 2 and y for y minus y1. That means y minus 3. So, that means we get like this now. Twelfth solution. So, required equation. Required equation is x plus 2 whole square plus 4 times x plus 2 in the place of y, y minus 3 plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 0. That means it passes through minus 2 comma 3. So, the point of intersection of this pair of lines is minus 2 comma 3. You remember that one also. So, now we need to simplify. This x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 4 times xy minus 3x plus 2y minus 6 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 equals to 0. So, we need to simplify this one. x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 4xy minus 12x plus 8y minus 24 plus y square 
minus 6y plus 9 equals to 0. That means, see here x square term, 4xy term and y square term. So, next 4x and 12x, minus 12x and y term and y term. After that constant we need to simplify. So, let us write now x square plus 4xy plus y square see minus 12x 4x minus 8x minus 6y plus 8y that is plus 2y 8y minus 6y is 2y next uh, 9 uh, 4 plus 9 actually 13 this will be plus only 13 24 minus 13 is equal to how much 24 minus 13 24 minus 13 that will be 11 but that will be minus 11 so this is the answer so what is the answer which is the right option x square plus 4xy plus y square minus 8x plus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0 option 2 option 2 will be the right option or even you can do like this substitute minus 2 comma 3 in the options which will be verified but that is better than our substitution is easy x plus 2 and y minus 3. Next problem, 13th problem. 13th problem. Okay. 13th problem. Anybody give the timings to Mr. Shanmukh? The equation the equation to the pair of lines pair of lines passing through passing through origin origin means 0 comma 0 origin and perpendicular perpendicular to 3x square minus 5xy plus 2y square equals to 0 is first option 2x square plus 5xy plus 3y square equals to 0 second option 2x square plus 5xy minus 3y square is equal to 0 third option 2x square minus 5xy plus 3y square is equal to 0. Fourth option 2x square minus 5xy minus 3y square is equal to 0. This is the question. Right now. So, let me discuss the shortcut now. So, what is the shortcut means here? The equation of the pair of lines, pair of lines passing through, passing through origin 
and perpendicular to ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 is see that is bx square minus 2hxy plus ay square is equal to 0. That means just interchange these two coefficients x square and y square coefficient change the sign of this one. So that means required equation is required equation is see 2x square in the place of 3 write down 2 and this becomes plus 5xy plus 3y square is equal to 0. 2x square plus 5xy plus 3y square is equal to 0. Is absolutely correct? That is option 1. Is the right answer? Okay, one minute. So let the pages be added now. Right. Question number 14. Question number 14. Right, 14th question. The equation the equation of the pair of lines equation of the pair of lines throw minus 1 comma minus 1 and perpendicular and perpendicular to the pair of lines perpendicular to the pair of lines x square minus 2xy minus 2y square is equal to 0 is first option 2x square minus xy plus y square plus 5x plus y plus 2 equals to 0. Second option 2x square minus xy minus y square minus 5x minus y plus 2 equals to 0. Third option x square minus xy plus 2y square minus 5x minus y minus 2 equals to 0. And next, fourth option 2x square minus xy minus y square plus 5x plus y minus 2 equals to 0. So that means first we need to find out the equation of the pair of lines passes through the origin and perpendicular to the pair of lines x square minus 2xy minus 2y square is equal to 0. After that put x for x plus 1, y for y plus 1 and simplify you will get the answer. So let us uh, follow this met method now. First let us find out now here solution. 
first the equation of the line equation of the pair of lines pair of lines perpendicular to x square minus 2xy minus 2y square is equal to 0 and passes through origin first and passes through origin is this is not our equation but first step interchange this one so that will be minus 2x square minus 2x square change the sign of xy plus 2xy here plus y square is equal to 0 multiply with minus sign this we can write 2x square minus 2xy minus y square is equal to 0 so equation 1 in this equation you need to substitute this minus 1 comma 1 so that means now put x for x plus 1 y for y plus 1 so we need to substitute now so 14th now what is the equation that is actually we have 2x square minus 2xy minus y square is equal to 0. So, in this put x for x plus 1, y for y plus 1. So, this implies 2 multiplied by x plus 1 whole square minus 2 times x plus 1 into y plus 1 minus y plus 1 whole square equal to 0. Let it be simplified now. So, we get 2 times x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 2 times xy plus x plus y plus 1 minus of y square plus 2y plus 1 equals to 0. So, that implies 2x square plus 4x plus 2 minus 2xy minus 2x minus 2y minus 2 minus y square minus 2y minus 1 equals to 0. So, here minus 2 plus 2 cancel. Any cancellation now? This is now, uh, now, we need to simplify now. See, this 2x square minus 2xy minus 2y square and plus 4x and minus 2x minus 2y and minus 2y. Next constant we need to write. Next constant we need to write. What are the constants we have here? Mm, minus 2. Okay, minus 1 we have plus 2. Okay. This will be minus 2. Right. Let us check it now. Somewhere we did mistake. Mm. Okay, let us write it. So, we have 2x square minus 2xy and minus y square plus 2x minus 2y minus 2y minus 4y and we have minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x square minus 2xy is not there anywhere, is not given now. Okay, minus 2xy. Mm. 
okay i do this is the shortcut itself only so this is the option you will get it now okay it's correct only right but options i given wrong uh, x square uh, 2x square minus 2xy minus y square that means something question may be wrong actually okay right so next go to 15th one so don't worry about the options options depend upon the question itself only but again i need to check it now it takes a time okay 15th one 15th one the product of the the product of the perpendiculars perpendiculars the product of the perpendiculars from p comma q from p comma q to the pair of lines pair of lines pair of lines x square minus y square is equal to 0 is first option mod of p square minus q square by 2 second option p square plus q square upon 2 third option p square minus q square by root 2 mod and fourth option we have p square plus q square by root 2 or upon root 2 this is the question okay right leave it now the about the question that is actually whether it may be minus 1 comma minus 1 answer is same right product of the perpendiculars from p comma q to the pair of lines x square minus y square is equal to 0 first the product of the perpendiculars from uh, x1 comma y1 to the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 we need to find out that formula we have product of the perpendiculars product of perpendiculars or perpendicular distances is equal to mod of ax1 square plus 2hx1 y1 plus by1 square upon root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square am i correct this is the formula this is the formula to find out actually uh, perpendicular distances from x1 comma y1 so that means here first we need to find out a value a value is 1 h is absent x5 so h is 0 b is minus 1 so now point x1 comma y1 equals to p comma q perpend product of perpendiculars product of perpendiculars equals to modulus of so in this equation substitute p comma q p square minus q square upon root of a minus b a minus b means 1 plus 1 2 square 4 plus 0 so this will be you will be getting now modulus of p square minus q square by root 4 is 2 that means first option is the right option
right option one correct correct now 16th question <coughs> 16th if the product product of the perpendicular perpendicular distances distances from distances from 1 comma k 1 comma k to the pair of lines x square minus 4xy plus y square is equal to 0 is 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 then k then k equals to first option 4 second option 5 third option 6 fourth option 8 this is the question Shenmukha Ramachandruni, you are new. First, subscribe. Right. So, this question is actually, here. see, the product of the perpendicular distances from 1 comma k to the pair of lines x square minus 4xy plus y, y square is equal to 0 is given. That is 3 by 2. Then, we need to find out the value of k. So, that means, first, we need to find out the per Product of the perpendiculars are distances from x1, comma y1 to the pair of lines. For example, ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 and that is equated to 3 by 2. So, that means now product of the perpendiculars from 1, comma k to this pair of lines is 3 by 2. Then we need to find out k value. So, that means already we have discussed the formula. So, product of the perpendiculars, product of the perpendiculars, mod of ax1 square plus 2hx1y1 plus by1 square by root over a minus b whole square plus 4h square. Right. So now let us come to the problem now. Here a means 1 because this is compared to a1, h is minus 2. Okay. What is the value of b? Yes, 1. Now x1 comma y1 equals to 1 comma k. So, that implies in this substitute 1 comma k. In the place of x1 minus 4k plus k square upon root of a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square is 0 plus 4 into h square, h square is 4, mod equals to, we have 3 by 2. So, this is equal to, we get now, k square minus 4k plus 1 by, this will be how much, 16 means, square root of 4, equal to 3 by 2. Actually, plus or minus, you will consider, 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja, 
So we have k square minus 4k plus 1 equals to we have plus r minus 6. So we get two cases k square minus 4k plus 1 equal to 6. Second case k square minus 4k plus 1 equals to minus 6. So k square minus 4k minus 5 equals to 0. Here k square minus 4k plus 7 is equal to 0. So better you solve this for this equation. This equation will be k plus 5 into k minus 1 equal to 0. Am I correct? So therefore k equals to minus 5 or 1. Even you can solve this one also. First you check it. If the options are not there, what are the options we have? k is equal to minus 5 and k is equal to Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did mistake here. This is minus 5. This is plus 1. This is plus 1. This is minus 1. Yes, k is equal to 5 is there. Second option is the right option. Second option is the right option. Okay. Right. Question number 17. Question number 17. Angle between angle between the lines the lines angle between the lines x square of cos square theta minus 1 minus xy times sin square theta sin square theta and plus y square times sin square theta is equal to 0. This is the pair of lines. Is first option pi by 4, second option pi by 3, third option pi by 6, fourth option pi by 2. That means first option is 45, second option is 60, third option is 30, fourth option is 90. So now this problem is related to the angle between the lines. So, angle between the lines means whenever you are asked the angle between the lines, first check uh, coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square. If coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0, directly we can say 90 degrees. Otherwise, go for formula. That is the best suggestion for competitive entrance examinations. Angle between the lines x square times cos square theta minus 1 minus xy times sin square theta plus y square times sin square theta equals to 0. So that means first of all here, so comparing with here, a equals to cos square theta minus 1, 2h equals to, 2h equals to minus sin square theta. And B, that is y square coefficient, sin square theta. First, let us try, consider A plus B. A plus B means coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square. Cos square theta minus 1 plus sin square theta. So now, 
here cos square theta plus sin square theta here write down cos square theta plus sin square theta and we have minus 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so that is 1 minus 1 0 so therefore angle between the pair of lines theta is equal to 90 degrees they are perpendicular so that means fourth option is the right option Fourth option is the right option. So, are you able to hear my voice today? Today voice is good, I think so. Anybody? Nobody is responding. Voice is good. Okay. Right. Option 4. Now, 18th one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. The angle between the angle between the angle between the pair of lines the pair of lines pair of lines x square plus 4xy plus y square equals to 0 is first option 30 degrees second option 45 degrees third option 60 degrees Fourth option 90 degrees. This is the question. So, first we need to do it. Uh, A plus B we need to find out. A plus B is equal to 1 plus 1, 2. No. Fourth option actually here has been eliminated. Either 1 or 2 or 3. You can apply cos theta or tan theta or sin theta. Whatever it may be, you can use. Right. That is depends upon your interest. The angle between the pair of lines x square plus 4xy plus y square is equal to 0. Solution. Here a equals to we have 1, 2h equals to 4, b equals to 1. That implies here a 1, h is 2, b is 1. So, cos theta formula. But options are acute angle, that's why take mod. Modulus of A plus B root over A minus B whole square plus 4H square. So, this equals to, we can write, modulus of A plus B is 2 upon root of A minus B whole square, 1 minus 1, 0 square, 0, 4H square, 4 into 4. This will be 2 by root 16, 2 by 4, equal to 1 by 2. That means cos theta equals to cos 60 degrees, pi by 3. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degrees. Third option. Third option is the right option. Right. Okay. Shall I move to next question? So now we have been discussing the angle between the pair of lines.
19th one. The angle, the angle between the pair of lines, between the pair of lines, y square minus 2xy cosecant theta 2xy times cosecant theta plus x square equals to 0 provided 0 less than or equal to theta theta less than or equal to pi by 2 is first option pi by 2 minus theta second option pi by 2 Third option is theta. Fourth option, pi by 4 minus theta. This is the question. Right. The angle between the pair of lines y square minus 2xy cosecant theta plus x square equals to 0. Theta lies between 0 to pi by 2. That means theta is acute angle. Acute. Right. So that means now here a means 1 x square coefficient 2h means minus 2 cosec theta h is equal to minus cosec theta. Am I correct? b equals to 1. So, write down cos theta formula, no problem. Cos theta is equal to mod of a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square. Right. This is theta. This is 2. a plus b is 2 mod 2. a minus b 0, 0 plus 4h square, 4 cosecant square theta. This will be, since theta lies in the first quadrant, square root of 4 cosecant square theta is positive only you need to take. 2 by 2 cosecant theta. This will be 1 by cosec theta. That is equal to, we can write uh, sin theta. Cos theta is equal to sin theta. This we can write si cos of pi by 2 minus theta. Therefore, angle is equal to angle equal to pi by 2 minus theta. So, that means first option is the right option. First option. Now, 20. Question number 20. Question number 20. Right. If the slope of slope of one of the lines one of the lines Represented by represented by two x square plus three x y plus k y square equals to zero is two then the angle, then the angle between the, between the pair of lines, pair 
of lines is first option pi by 2 second option pi by 3 third option pi by 6 fourth option pi by 4 this is the question now 20th question yes no problem sandeep neta okay sorry there is a disturbance what is the disturbance Nothing. Right. So first we need to make uh, the plan here. The slope of the one of the lines represented by 2x square plus 3xy plus ky square is equal to 0 is a 2 means that it represents two lines which passes th which pass through the origin. That means the line will be y is equal to mx. That means one of the line becomes, as slope is m is 2, one of the line becomes y is equal to x. If you substitute y is equal to x in the given equation, we can find out the k value. After getting k value, the angle between the pair of lines easily we can find out. As if we know the values a value, h value and b value. So first we need to find out k value here. Solution let us follow. Slope of one of the lines is 2 this pair of lines that means solution this is the pair of lines 2x square plus 3xy plus ky square is equal to 0 say equation 1 so make two parts like this leave it first slope of one of the line m is equal to 2 so one of the line one of the line or one of the lines we need to say is y is equal to mx y is equal to x so that means put x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 in equation 1 so as to get k value so that means we get 2 plus 3k uh, 6 correct plus ky square 4k equal to 0. 4k is equal to minus 8. k is equal to minus 2. That means now here a value becomes 2, 2h becomes 3, b value becomes k, k means minus 2. Here first find verify a plus b. a plus b equals to very interesting 2 minus of 2 is 0. Therefore, angle between them is theta is equal to 90 degrees. So, first option is the right option. First option is the right option. Yes, even the m1 into m2 also minus 1. That is also correct. Maybe ready. m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. Because that is minus a by b. 2 by minus 2 is minus 1. Is hello cracks. Twenty-first problem. So once again, actually, I suggest to all the viewers that once again you practice all these questions from your different materials, so that uh, uh, in the examination you will perform better. So today, any new viewers are there? Please subscribe first of all. Okay. Right. So now, twenty first. 
if the pair of lines if the pair of lines if the pair of lines x square plus y square tan square alpha equals to x minus y tan y tan alpha whole square or perpendicular or perpendicular or perpendicular to each other to each other to each other then alpha equals to then alpha equals to first option is pi by 6 second option is pi by 3 third option is pi by 8 fourth option is pi by 4 this is the question right i want to you want to eat my mouse touches okay Thank you. <laughs> right. The pair of lines x square plus y square times tan square alpha equals to x minus y tan alpha whole square are perpendicular to each other. Then alpha we need to find out. So that means the pair of lines represents two perpendicular lines. Coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0. Then we get the alpha value. So let us do it now. Solution. First we can simplify like this. x square tan square alpha plus y square tan square alpha. That is a minus b whole square in right hand side. x square minus 2xy tan alpha plus y square tan square alpha. Okay, y square tan square alpha, y square tan square alpha gets cancelled. So you bring this side now. Or if you bring x square tan square alpha that side, you get like this x square minus x square tan square alpha common 1 minus tan square alpha minus 2xy tan alpha is equal to 0. So if you compare with ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. A equals to 1 minus tan square alpha. Here 2H is equal to minus 2 tan alpha. B becomes 0. Since they are perpendicular. They are. Lines are perpendicular. That means A plus B equals to 0. A plus B equals to 0 means A value is 1 minus tan square alpha. This is B. So, we get 1 minus tan square alpha is equal to 0. Tan square alpha is equal to 1. That means this is tan square 45 degrees. Because tan 45 is 1. You know alpha. What is alpha? Pi by 4. That means fourth option is the right option. Fourth option is the right option. Even you can apply m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. But what happens means actually here m1 into m2 is equal to minus uh, a by b. Yes. Narendra. Yes. 
यशवंत कुमार यू स्विम टू बी न्यू टुडे सरोजा ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इफ थीटा इज द थीटा इज द अक्यूट एंगल between between the pair of lines between the pair of lines x square plus 3xy plus 4y square equals to 0 then sin theta equals to first option 1 by root 34 second option 1 by 3 third option 5 by root 34 fourth option 3 by root 34 This is the question. Ravi Bamidi cos x by 2y minus 1 is not the answer of this one. Y is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x dash dash infinity. The derivative is dy by dx is equal to cos x by 2y minus 1. Please do not actually encroach with other topic to this topic. okay if theta is the acute angle between the pair of lines x square plus 3xy plus 4y square is equal to 0 then we need to find out sin theta so what is the formula for sin theta what is the formula for sin theta anybody What is the formula for sin theta? Sin theta. Right. One minute. Okay. Let us do this problem first. So now here, a equals to one. 2h equals to 3, b equals to 4. So now the sine theta formula is 2 root of h square minus ab upon root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square. So this can be rewritten. This 2 root of h square minus ab may be written like this. Root of this root 4 we can write root 4 into root of h square minus ab. We can write 4h square. That we can write 2h whole square minus 4ab. You can write in the similar fashion. 
This also we can write a minus b whole square plus 4h square can be written 2h whole square. Am I correct now? Let us substitute respective values. Let us substitute respective values. 2h is 3. 3 square 9 minus 4ab 16. Mm. 4ab. This is 2h whole square. 2h whole square is how much? 9. 9 minus. We are getting negative value. Negative value. Yes. One minute. I will check the question first. I will check the question. Okay. I'll check the question. Okay, now. So, here you take minus sign. Minus sign you take it. So, this will be minus. Okay, this will be minus 4. What happens now here? Plus 16 under root and root of a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square means 1. This will be 1 plus 4 whole square is 25 plus 2h is 3, 9. Root 25 is 5 by root 34. So, second option. So, once again, please do remember Mr. Sai Vishwanath, actually, please be in the limits. Please don't discuss uh, all these things. I think you are new. Yes. Now, 23rd question, 23rd question, 23rd, the equation, the equation of pair of pair of angular bisectors angular bisectors bisectors of a minus b times x square plus 4h times xy minus of a minus b times y square equal to 0 is first option h times x square minus y square plus x y times a minus b equals to 0 second option h times x square minus y square minus x y times a minus b third option h times x square minus y square plus a b x y equal to 0 fourth option a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 Right.
मिस्टर साई विश्वनाथ आई डिडेंट एक्चुअली टोल्ड एनी स्टोरी टू यू सो आई गिवेन द सजेशन बट वेन यू आर यू एक्चुअली चार्ट द इन चार्टिंग ऑल्सो यू नीड टू मैंशन लाइक दैट सजेस्टेड दैट साल नॉट दैट वर्ड इज रॉन्ग right <laughs> thank you the equation of the pair of angular bisectors of a minus b x square plus 4h 4 hxy minus of a minus b y square is equal to 0 so that means uh, equation of the pair of angular bisectors we need to find out here now right solution Comparing with a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal zero. Here a stands for a minus b. Next 2 h stands for here 2 h. Sorry, 4 h. B stands for minus of a minus b. So required equation. Pair of pair of angular bisector pair of angular bisectors is x square minus y square by a minus b is a formula equal to xy by h am i correct now so let us substitute x square minus y square by we need to subtract a minus b from this minus of a minus b that becomes like this a minus b plus a minus b this becomes 2a minus 2b equal to xy by h what will be the h value that will be 2h now 2 2 gets cancel again we get the same value itself only you see x square minus y square by a minus b equal to xy by h cross multiplication h into x square minus y square equal to a minus b into xy so that means second option is the right option second option is the right twenty fourth twenty fourth shortcut formula only applied uh, topic that is shortcut only right so topic you might be new to my classes actually you watch in the playlist you'll get uh, right twenty fourth if one angular bisector angular bisector of a times x minus 1 whole square plus 2 h times one minute i will check the question because not to happen any errors okay. 
this is Okay, I will check the question once again. Please wait. The one angular bisector of a times x plus one whole square plus two h times x plus one y minus three plus b times y minus three whole square. Equal to zero is right. Is 2x minus 3y plus 11 equals to zero. Then the equation, then the equation of other angular bisector is. Angular bisector is first option is x plus y equals to two. Second option three x plus two y minus eleven equals to zero. Third option three x plus two y equal to zero. Fourth option, 3x plus 2y minus 3 equals to zero. Right. So this is actually conceptual question, very very important question also. See one angular bisector of the pair of lines we need to find out. Uh, that means sorry, one angular bisector of the pair of lines is given here. And other angular bisector we need to find out. Angular bisector always both passes through the point of intersection of the pair of lines, and they are perpendicular each other. That means first we need to find out the point of intersection. So that means now the point of intersection of this pair of lines is easily we can write. So point of intersection, point of intersection is equal to x plus one is equal to zero, so minus one. Y minus three zero minus one comma three. So that means equation of the other bi angular bisector is a line perpendicular to two x minus three y plus eleven is equal to zero and passes through minus one comma three. So that means we need other angular bisector, other angular bisector is equal to. Bisector is equal to the line perpendicular to 2x minus 3y plus 11 is equal to 0 and passes through and passes through minus 1 comma 3. So that implies. I explain the shortcut to you. Don't worry. What is the shortcut means? Interchange these two coefficients and change of the sign. After that, substitute this minus one comma three. That means you get like this: three x plus two y equal to substitute this point minus three plus six equal to three. Therefore. 3x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0. This is the answer.
So fourth option. Fourth option. What is Surya Prakash? What's your doubt? So, so many today, our regular viewers. Right. So, now let us move to the next question. 25th 25th equation 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 of pair of lines equation of pair of lines pair of lines throw origin and forming and forming and forming and forming an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle with the line with the line 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 is first option 23x square plus 3y square minus 8xy equals to 0 second option 23x square minus 3y square plus 48xy equal to 0. Third option 23x square plus 3y square minus 16xy equals to 0. Fourth option 23x square plus 3y square plus 48xy equals to 0. This is the question. Right? Okay. So now you need to like and subscribe and share to your friends. Okay. Right. So that means actually we have equation of pair of lines through origin and forming an equilateral triangle with the line 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. So that means <laughs> okay. Right. So, required equation of the pair of lines. Required equation of pair of lines. Pair of lines is see first actually remove the constant. That means 2x minus 3y add on. Whole square 
and minus 3 times this perpendicular equation 3x plus 2y whole square is equal to 0. You need to simplify this one. You need to simplify this one. So let us simplify it. What do you get now here? 4x square minus 12xy plus 9y square minus 3 times 9x square plus 12xy plus 4y square equals to 0. Now just help me how to find out. Okay. So now this equals to C minus 27x square 4x square minus 23x square and this is minus 36 and this will be minus 48xy. This is minus 12y square and this one uh, minus 12 minus 3y square equals to 0. Multiply with minus you get like this 23x square plus 48xy plus 3y square equals to 0. That means fourth option is the right option. Fourth option is the right option. Uh, yes. So that means the equation of the pair of lines passes through the origin and forming equilateral triangle with the line Lx plus My plus n is equal to 0 instead of this. You remove this constant. Lx plus My write down and square it and minus 3 times interchange these two and change the sign mx minus ly whole square is equal to 0. This is the formula. Already we have discussed it. Okay. One minute. Shirani Yadav. Right. Next, 26th question. 26th. Equation, equation of pair of lines, of pair of lines passing through the origin, passing through the origin, Passing through the origin and making and making 
tan inverse 2 with the line with the line 4x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0 is first option 4x minus 3y whole square minus 4 times 3x plus 4y whole square equal to 0. Second option. Second option. Right. Second option. 4x minus 3y whole square minus 3x plus 4y whole square is equal to 0. Third option. 4x minus 3y whole square minus 3 times 3x plus 4y whole square equal to 0. And fourth option, 4 times 4x minus 3y whole square minus 3x plus 4y whole square is equal to 0. Okay. So, we have one formula already we have discussed the equation of the pair of lines passing through the origin and making this angle is alpha with the line Lx plus My plus n is equal to 0 is given by this formula Lx plus My whole square minus tan square alpha into mx minus ly whole square equals to 0. This is the formula. So, that means therefore now we get here tan inverse 2 is equal to alpha. What is tan alpha? Yes, tan alpha is equal to 2. Here now we can write this is 4x minus 3y whole square minus tan alpha whole square is 4 times this will be 3x plus 4y whole square is equal to 0. Now you need to decide which is the right option. Yes, absolutely correct. So now third option is the right option. Third option is the right option. Who is Mr. Mayesh and Mayesh? Secretariat Sai Madhavnagar. What's your name actually? Secretariat uh, Sai Madhavnagar. Okay, one thing I would like to share one thing with you, uh, Sai Madhavnagar, Secretariat. See, one thing remember, even we may bring horse to the water. Whose responsibility is this to drink the water? That's obviously horse need to drink the water. In the same case, so, I have been teaching the classes for the children, the students. So, they need to attend. So, I am not going to appear for any entrance examination. You people are going for the, at the entrance examination. Your career is actually depends upon your hands. So, that is why they need to select. Okay, you are the Tota Krishnamurti. Okay, who works with the secretariat? Your father? Right. Twenty seventh question. Right. A 
area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by the lines formed by the lines 3x square minus 4xy plus y square equals to 0 and 2x minus y equals to 6 is first option 16, second option 25, third option 36, fourth option 49. So, you need to consider Square units. 26 is incorrect, sir. This one. Okay, I will try. I will see. 26. How? How this one? Four x minus three y whole square minus tan square alpha. Four into three x plus four y whole square is equal to zero. That's all. Right. Okay, now area of the triangle formed by the lines, pair of lines with 2x minus y is equal to 6 is. So that means First, let us write a value 3, 2h equals to minus 4, and b value equals to 1, h value equal to minus 2. And this is compared to lx plus my plus n equals to 0. So, we get now l equals to 2, m equals to minus 1 n becomes obviously minus 6. Then delta is equal to area of the triangle formed by the lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 with lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 is given by n square root of h square minus ab upon modulus of am square minus 2 HLM plus BL square. Am I correct now? Let us substitute the values now. Let us substitute the values. Right. This equals to N square means 36 root of H square. H square is 4 minus 3 upon a m square a means how much 3 m square is 1 minus 2 h minus 4 l m l m is minus 2 plus b l square what is b b is 1 l square l square is 4 so you need to simplify this one so, this equals to 36 root 1, 36 upon mod 3, this is minus 8, because minus 4 into minus 2 is plus 8 and minus 8 plus 4. This will be mod minus 1, so 1 only 36 by 1, 36 square units, that means third option is the right option, third option is the right option. Chintu, today you are charting a lot of, uh, so please do not do it. I will check your chart also. Okay. 
28. Let us move to the 28. 28. Okay, 28 question, 28. The area, the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle area of the triangle formed formed by the lines by the lines x square minus 9xy plus 18y square equals to 0 and the line and the line y minus 1 equals to 0 is in square units. First option 3 by 4, second option 3 by 2, third option 6, fourth option 3. This is the problem. Right. So that means actually the area of the triangle formed by the lines AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square is equal to 0. With the line LX plus MY plus N is equal to 0 formula need to be applied for this one also. So let it be first applied. Okay, first applied. Right. area of the triangle formed by the lines x square minus 9xy plus 18y square is equal to 0 and the line y minus 1 is equal to 0. Here solution a equals to 1 next h equals to 9 by 2 and b equals to 18. Comparing this line with Lx plus My plus N is equal to 0. Here L will be 0. M equals to 1 and N equals to minus 1. Delta formula. What is delta formula? N square root of H square minus AB upon a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square. So n square, what is n square? Is 1 root of h square. h square is 81 by 4 minus a b minus 18 by modulus of a m square. What is a m square? m is 1 a is 1, 1, but actually L is 0, 2 HLM becomes 0. B L square, B L square also 0. That means this root we need to simplify. 81 minus 72 by 4. So that means root of 9 by 4. This will be 3 by 2. So Second option is the right option. Right. Absolutely correct. What you said. 
take it granted minus 9 by 2 h is okay but h square will be 81 by 4 but even every symbol is also taken into consideration very good observation kshetriya govind nibiredi right sneha thank you thank you thank you So, 29th question, 29th, right. Area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by the pair of lines pair of lines pair of lines ax plus by whole square minus 3 times bx minus ay whole square equal to 0 and the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is first option c square by a square plus b square second option c square by 2 into a square plus b square third option c square by root 2 times a square plus b square fourth option c square by root 3 times a square plus b square this is conceptual question that means we have one formula then you will decide it now area of the triangle formed by the area of the equilateral triangle sorry equilateral triangle formed by the pair of lines with lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 is delta equals to n square by root 3 times L square plus M square. Therefore, what is delta here? Yes, N for C. C square by root 3 times L means A, M means B, A square plus B square. So, that means fourth option is the right option. Fourth option. So, otherwise, you can say like this also. In general, for example, not only this equilateral triangle, for any triangle also it can be appli applicable. Then theta is equal to, you can remember like this, n square by tan alpha into L square plus m square. Since equilateral triangle means alpha is equal to how much? 60. Tan 60 is equal to root 3. We got it. Yes, 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 uh, Sai Venkat, Sai Madhavanagar, I uh, expect the same thing from you people itself only. Because we need to form a, uh, form a family that is a Sakalavija family. We belong to the same Sakalavija family itself. Myself also, I myself also feel same thing itself only. Right. 
so it should be continued and even after completion of your engineering and etc also so you need to cooperate with us okay 30 let us complete one more question and we shall conclude our session today 30th. The area of an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle formed by right the area of an equilateral triangle formed by the lines the lines pair of lines that means lines through the origin Through the origin and the line and the line twelve x minus five y plus thirteen equals to zero in square units is First option 3 root 3, second option 2 root 3, third option root 3, fourth option 1 by root 3. These are the options. Okay, thank you Ajay Kanna. Okay, right, thank you, thank you. right so now first let me complete the area of an equilateral triangle formed by the lines through the origin and this line so solution here l is equal to 12 m is equal to minus 5 and n is equal to 13 so formula delta is equal to n square by so take tan alpha no problem tan alpha into l square plus m square it is being equilateral triangle being equilateral triangle here alpha is equal to 60 degrees so now this delta is equal to we get n square by tan 60 tan 60 is root 3 sorry i am so hurry Mm. n n is 13 13 square is 169 root of l square plus m square that is 144 plus 25 so 169 by 169 root 3 169 169 gets cancelled 1 by root 3 that means fourth option is the right option thank you bye bye see you we shall meet you in the next evening classes, evening classes.